Mike Turrell, President and CEO of Safety Enterprises, with another installment of Safety Enterprises informational videos. Today we're going to discuss briefly the 30 caliber M1 Garand. Uh, M1 Garand was developed and designed by John Garand in 1936. It was adopted by the U.S. military during World War II. It was a standard issue firearm for Army forces and some Marine Corps forces throughout the conflict of World War II into the Korean era conflict as well as early stages in Vietnam. It was replaced in 1956 by the M14 selective fire uh, rifle uh, chambered in 30 6 and 308 caliber. The M1 Garand was also available in 30 6 and 308. This is a 30 6 version. This particular rifle is Springfield manufactured, it was produced in 1943. I have a couple of uh, accessories sitting here with it. I do have a five round magazine uh, as well as a, uh, an eight round. These are actually uh, clips that load into the box fed magazine portion of the firearm. Uh, it was a very unique gas operated system. Uh, General George S. Patton called this the greatest battle implement ever produced. Uh, this particular rifle actually uh, was responsible for our forces uh, being successful in the European theater. Uh, it was an extremely durable firearm, semi-automatic capability, had the capability of handling many accessories uh, from short sword and long sword bayonets. This particular accessory here is a rocket grenade. You had also uh, uh, fragmentation grenades that you could mount to the weapon. This actually mounts up front. You could utilize a blank uh, firing device, which I do have sitting here as an accessory. You could fire this rocket propelled grenade up to a thousand meters. Had devastating uh, capability. It's a relatively heavy firearm, has very little felt recoil in comparison to most semi-automatic 30-06s on the market today because of it. They're very rare to come by in good condition. You'll find a, a many of them that are parts guns like most other military firearms on the market today. It is a gas operation as I indicated. It has a spring-loaded uh, mechanism inside. They were very unique in that when the weapon was empty and the, the clip actually ejected from the uh, action of the firearm, they made a very distinctive sound. And it got so familiar in the European theater that some of the Axis forces understanding that sound would then pounce upon the American troops. So our GIs got pretty uh, intelligent and started throwing these on the ground to make the sound as if uh, the weapon was indeed unloaded and waited for the enemy to then pop their heads up and gave us an opportunity uh, to take over that area that we were fighting in. Uh, again, uh, you can get them uh, today on the internet. They are available in most uh, quality gun stores that have a good assortment of used firearms that are out there today. It's a proven battle weapon. Uh, if you were to become a member of the Civilian Marksmanship Program, uh, they shoot annually at Camp Perry in Ohio. Uh, as a member of the CMP, you can actually own a piece of history and grab yourselves an M1 Garand.